All right, so happy Friday. Um, today's workout looks fun. We're gonna be doing Turkish get-ups um, to start us off with some accessory work. So we have three sets of five, um, which is like an odd number. So if you're wanting to do like round up or round down, I think that's okay. So like I'm assuming it's five, like one on each arm. I don't, unless we, unless we want to go along the lines of five on each arm, that is also an option. So again, it's, it's totally up to you. I interpreted it as one on each arm, five total, but that would make, that wouldn't make sense because it's an odd number. So I think that it could be five on each arm and just alternating. Um, but there's three sets of five for that. And then from there we have a Metcon. And um, for those that have a barbell that watch this later, you can do it with the barbell for the thrusters, and then you can use um, a dumbbell or even a kettlebell for the devil's press. So I have a kettlebell, those are my options. Um, and I think Molly, you have dumbbells? I have one dumbbell. Awesome. I do have a kettlebell, but it's too heavy for me to be doing these movements. No worries. What, what weight kettle or dumbbell do you have? 30. Okay, awesome, cool. All right, how do you feel about thrusters and devil's press? Pretty good. Okay, good, awesome. Yeah, it looks fun. So um, my recommendation, I talked to Molly about this, who's, not Molly, I meant to say Mary. I talked to Mary about this uh, the other, or earlier this morning, and uh, she's like the aficionado of using your non-dominant arm first. So the program is written as 15, 10, 5 on the right side of thrusters and devil's press, and then rest three minutes, and then all on the left. Um, I think that for our own sanity, it might feel better to do the left side first. If you're not left dominant, like I'm not left dominant. Um, and then finishing it on the right side, because then it's like, you get to finish strong and you start off not as strong and not like you specifically, but like, this is me like talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Um, but it looks fun. So 15, 10, five of the thrusters and the devil's press with one arm and then rest three minutes and then 15, 10 five of the thrusters and the devil's press again with the other arm. So if you want to use your, your dominant arm first, that's fine. That's how it's written. But if you want to use your non-dominant arm first, that's okay too. Um, and then again, those that are using a barbell, it would be 75, 55. And then RX again, for some people watching later is 135, 95. If you uh, happen at home, if you happen to have the double kettlebell, like two kettlebells, that's cool too. That would be considered RX plus. Um, I'm not sure how long the workout is going to take. I bet it's going to go quicker than than it might with the barbell, just because uh, we're just using one one piece of equipment. Um, yeah, any lots of shoulder stuff today, uh, so we'll want to make sure we get those warmed up. But any questions, comments, concerns before we get started? So we're doing ten Turkish get ups three times. You can, if you, if you want to do five on, five on one arm, five on the other for three rounds. Um, so that, that's totally possible, but it's not 10 on one arm, 10 on the other. It would be like five and then five. Okay. So if you want to do that, um, I think that's how it's, it's anticipated to be written is five on the right, five on the left or vice versa for three total sets. Um, but if you want to scale up to like, do three sets of, of six and be like three on one arm, three on the other. Again, it's, it's totally up to you. Okay, cool. Um, and then I think that's it. I'm looking at my notes of the workout and I think that is everything. Cool. And then for the actual Metcon, I'll pull up a, uh, a timer. Like I'll share my screen so that way we know where we're at. So that way we know when to rest. Cool. So let's let's stand up and we're just gonna get our body moving we'll start off with 20 20 jumping jacks And then we'll do, I'll wait for you to come back. 
It's okay. Dogs. No, you're good. And then we're going to do 20 bunny hops. So just like that, grounding on tops of the feet. So we'll do 20 total. And then once you've done 20 of those, we're just going to bring our arms across the body. Wayne, I'll be right back. I'm going to keep doing this though. You're good. And then for those at home, we'll go up and down. And then we're going to go trunk twists. And then again, cross the body. All righty, awesome. So from here, we're going to go into walk our hands out into a push up position or a plank, so that inchworm. So we're going to do five of these. So walking our hands out, push up position, and then we'll do one push up, and then we'll walk our hands back to meet our feet again for a total of five reps. All right, so on that fifth one, we'll stand up all the way. And then we're actually gonna walk, walk our hands back out. We're gonna lay down on our stomachs or our bellies. We're gonna bring our arms out to a cross position. We're gonna bring our left leg over the right into a scorpion position. So trying to keep our shoulders level with the ground and then just bringing our legs over alternating sides. I'm gonna scoot back so I have some space. So we'll do 10, 10 on each side. All right, once you've done 10, well then we'll flip it over to our back. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, except we'll do five reps. So it'll be like what's called like an iron cross. So left leg will go over the right side, right leg over the left side. Be right back, Molly. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> already. So anyways, let's all meet back in a push-up position here. We're gonna do 20 shoulder taps, so 10 on each side. As always, trying to keep our hips level with the floor. All right, and then we can go back down to our knees. Okay, so I know you've done Turkish get-ups before. Um, for those who may have not done it that might be watching this later, I'm gonna try and demo this without any weight. I'm trying to situate my, my screen so people can actually see me. Okay, so we'll lay down on the floor and then we'll bring our right knee, our left knee up, uh, right arm, sorry, left arm up. We're going to punch up to that right elbow, bringing it to our right palm, bringing our hips up, driving our knee through to a lunge, bringing our hips up and our torso to that full position. We'll stand all the way up and then we'll go that in reverse. So knee down, palm down, bringing our leg through, back to the forearm, all the way back down, and then switching sides again. Right arm up, right knee up. All right, Molly, so without any weight, we're just gonna do three on, e I'm sorry, two on each side. So without any weight, any kettlebells, just the, um, you know, our bodies. So whichever side you like to start with, either right or left. So just nice, slow and controlled. I'll start with the right arm too. So right arm up and then palms, bringing up the hip, bringing our knee through, going into that lunge, and then standing all the way up. Again, knee down, palm down, leg through, back to forearm, all the way back down. You can go at your own pace, Molly, so I'm just talking for the other people. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, good. Beautiful. Icon. Great. Okay. So again, the, this part can be choose your own adventure. It can be uh, five reps on one arm. So alternating. So 10 total. Or if you want to scale up or down and do six total, three on each arm, or four total, two on each arm, really as long as it's even um, and that we're equitably distributing the work that's all that matters so there's three sets here um and if you have a dumbbell or kettlebell that's preferred obviously this can be done with a dumbbell i'm sorry yeah with a dumbbell um typically it's done with a kettlebell of course but so cool molly if you want to just do like a warm-up set with like maybe one side or even both sides um then uh, what we can do is i can just set like a running timer so that way we have some rest in between okay how does that sound? Good. Awesome. Cool. All right. I'll set. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so that way we have a timer for us to utilize. Cool. Can you see that? Okay. Yes. Awesome. All righty. Yeah. So again, if you want to do, if you want to just jump right into it, we can. Um, I'm just going to set a running timer and then we can go ahead and get started. Awesome. And I'm gonna readjust my... I'm probably gonna do something like two on each side, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those quality over quantity movements. I think a lot yeah. of us, we wanna go fast and do like a thousand reps, but this is really about core stability and shoulder stability. So if you deem that as like quality, then let's do it. I support you a thousand percent. Okay. Wait. 
if I had a lighter belt, I probably would be using it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be excited to take a break from using a cut it off for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever that happens. Yeah. Hopefully just two more weeks. All right. Two more weeks. We got this. Hmm. Yeah. This, the 30 pounds is out of my comfort zone a little bit for Turkish get ups. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. One thing that I'm going to invest in at some point in the near future is some, some dumbbells and some other equipment to have at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. I've liked having a dumbbell. I have one. I own a kettlebell myself, which is on the heavy side for me, but it's yeah. good. I've gotten better at using it. Yeah, good. That's good but I've enjoyed having a dumbbell that the gym let me, so. Yeah, I'm like, thanks, thanks, friends. I'll be right back, Wayne. You're good.
All right. I'm also following in your lead. If I had a lighter bell, I think I probably would do more. We'd be here all day if I did five. <laughs> I know, right? I feel you. I feel you. I'm going to try to do this. What is it? Burpee to a, a what, um, snatch. Sorry, I had a brain fart. I'm going to, because I have a kettlebell, I'm probably going to end up doing a regular burpee and then snatch it as opposed to holding onto the handle, going into the burpee and then going, you know, like a typical, like double sure. press, you know? So, because it's a little awkward when the handle's hot. <laughs> yeah. Hot. How's it feeling? Good. Good. All right. Was that everything? All of the no more, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. Let me stop sharing for a second. Reset this. Okay. So whew, we'll give our shoulders a couple seconds. All right. So the fun part, our Metcon. So again, 15, 10, five of the thrusters and the devil's press, one arm, and then rest three minutes, and then 15, 10, five, same thing, opposite arm. So again, personal preference, if you wanna use the non-dominant arm and finish with the dominant arm, that's cool, but again, totally up to you. Um, this one will just be running clock, so that way the rest happens. Um, there's no set time cap. And yeah, it looks fun. So 15 of the thrusters, 15 of the devil's press, 10 thrusters, 10 devil's press, five, five, and then rest. Cool. Okay. So. <laughs> before we jump right into it, let's do a couple of reps with our, bringing our apparatus to our front rack position. So whether it's the left side or the right side, so we'll bring, um, you can like hang clean it or clean it from the floor and then bringing it to the front rack, whether it's the left or the right side. And then we'll go into three, just three front squats on the left or right, and then three front squats on the right or left. It'll get a little spicy. And then as always, when the workout we get started, if you want to listen to your own music, you're welcome to. Um, we can mute each other and play music if we want to in the background. 
Wait. Totally up to you. Awesome. All right, from there, let's go into two thrusters. So two on the left, two on, or two on the right, two on the left. Sorry, I know you're about to switch. I was like, let me not, let me not do that to you. <laughs> I'll do the same thing. Then we can set the dumbbell down and then we'll get ready for those devil's press. Okay. So devil's press can't necessarily show with a kettlebell most efficiently, but as always that burpee, then bringing it through the center of the legs, driving up, back down, opposite arm, same thing, through the legs and back up. So we'll just have you do one on each arm just to warm that up. So one on the right, one on the left, or whichever arm first. Beautiful. Good transition. <laughs> Way better than I would have done. Awesome. Alrighty. Cool. How are we feeling? Good. Good. I'm always nervous about these workouts. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen again. Okay. One second. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to grab some water and then we can get this party started. Okay, I'm going to mute. Okay, cool. Sounds groovy. I'll do a, a countdown and then I'll, I'll also mute myself so you don't have to hear me heavy breathing. All right, here we go in 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and go.
Good work. Good job. How many minutes do we rest? Three. Okay. Oh, crap.
Good work. Woo. Good job, Molly. Good work. Ugh. That's hard. I had to I had to modify the the snatches. My shoulders were not having it. That was a lot harder than it sounds like it is. Right? Ooh, good work. Did you did you see what time you finished? 14 something. Awesome. Good job. Good. That was good. Um I recommend uh if you have some time maybe doing some what we did for our warm up like the uh the crossovers on the front and the back side. Um, also too, if you have like a, like a sturdy surface like up against the wall, kind of like doing that, like stretch where we like mm -hmm. have, we're up and then we're, you know, shoulder level, then we're a little bit lower and then switching sides again, like uh -huh. holding it. Again, trying to stretch out those shoulders. But while we're here together, what we can do is let's, let's meet in um, a bottom of a squat position. So uh, the good old prayer squat, so bringing our palms together, pressing out on those knees, our hips are likely nice and warm by now. So we can rotate side to side. Oh, hi, kitty. <laughs> so we can pivot our ankles side to side here, trying to keep that chest high. Good, and then from here, We'll bring our right palm, left ankle. We're just gonna bring up our left, left side five times on the left. And then we'll do the same thing, left palm, right ankle, five times on the right. From here, we'll bring our hands underneath our toes. We're just gonna keep them here in that gorilla pose, we'll stand up all the way, having our knees slightly bent, making some movement here. And then re slowly releasing our palms underneath those feet. And then we'll just do five of the squats and then standing up here. So five of these. I'm having a brain fart, what they're called right now. Uh, I'm blanking, forgot what they're called, but it's okay. And then on the fifth one, we can stand up all the way. Awesome, thanks for coming, Molly. Yeah, thanks for doing it. No problem. I hope you have a great like Friday and rest of your uh, or soon to be weekend. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for having it. I didn't feel like it today, so it felt good to do it. Good. I'm glad you came. Glad that we could do this together. Yeah. All right. All right. See you Bye. later. See you. Of course. My pleasure.